Yo, what's going on, YouTube? This is your boy Trip here, coming at you with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. My boy Weed Rabbit is right here. Yep, this time I moved it. I'm not in his lap anymore. Now I'm like on his head. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I'm I... sitting perched on his head like a tiny bird. Yep, and it's so warm. So nice. Yeah. All yeah. right. So, enough about that. Uh,. Last yeah, so we want to. What do you want to do? Is yeah, you 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 landed um at the entrance, and I told you not. What you want to do is you want to go a little farther in, yeah. uh, because it'll not only put you closer to I think where we need to go, mm -hmm. but there's a piece of heart we can get nearby. So the way it describes it, if you look around where you're at, yeah, there should be. I don't know if it's that blue one over there. I don't know if that's it. That might be it. Get closer to that blue mushroom looking thing over there. No, this isn't it. Cause it says something about following the path. Oh, it's gonna be down there. There yeah. it is, right there. There it is. Yeah. And then that, you, since you have bombs now, which you didn't have before, you can blow that up, and we can get a piece of art from here. So that's perfect. Yay! Yay! There you go. And the piece of heart's just waiting for you. That's yeah, lovely. Yeah. Like, who? Who just put that there? Right? Did it like? Is it like just like is it a natural thing that goes? Yeah. Like, what Could other people use pieces of heart? Could enemies <laughs> use it if they wanted to? Man, that would be so cool if there was an enemy that could actually steal pieces of heart from you. I mean, it, it would also stronger. suck, but yeah. But it would be interesting. It would be an interesting concept. Yeah, it would. Okay, so when it says here, uh, pull up your map real quick again. Okay, so it says we need to do. It says, make your way over to the northeast corner of the Fern Woods near the viewing platform bird statue. Okay. What? Uh, uh, near the deep woods? Let's see. Hold on. Uh, it just says northeast corner of the Fern Woods. Because I uh, remember there's like a platform somewhere. It's kind of weird. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, try to climb up, see if we can see a little bit more. Yeah, go up there, up there. Uh, let's see, where are you? Do you have maids over there? Hold on. Oh, where is MC? I mean, it might be yeah, up here somewhere. Yeah, I, th I think it's that hole. Go look behind you. There was like a hole in the oh. ground. No, be no go, go back, go back, go back. Yeah, that hole right there to the right. Maybe that'll help you like get to the other side? Is it over here, like, near the clearing, or let's see? Yeah, I think it's on this side. I think it's going to be to the right. No? We'll see now. Yeah! Yeah, you finally did it! <laughs> it's only half the game, but you finally did one of them. Good job. Yeah! We did it! Yeah, I also really like doing them in um, Twilight Princess, and you can, like, sheath your sword all badass. Yeah, it is. I remember That's that. Really cool. That was so cool. Okay, let's see. Where does it put you on the map if you go this way? Let's see. Yeah, I think if you keep going, I think you're going to get to that part we're trying to get to. Yeah, there, it should be up there. Yeah, somewhere. It should be around here. Sneak attack! There you there go. go. <laughs> okay, so this should be close, I think. Uh, That's going to be it right there on the ground. I think that's where we're going. Here? I think it is. It, said it, it says to use your dowsing rod. I don't want to use the dowsing rod. It says... From here, use your dowsing mechanic to find a circular area just in front of the statue. So I think I'm pretty sure it's this. Yeah, see, I think it's this. And it says pull out your harp and strum to be the pulsing. There you go. That's what reveals it. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, I love how you really did avoid the, <laughs> the freaking dowsy. <laughs> That's great. All right. So you just want to copy the. Yo, Fee's getting into it, man. I love how our face looks like a squawking chicken. That's great. Uh huh. There you go. 
it, it's so cool how they plugged in the original music into the game. In a fun yeah, way. a lot of the songs are just recurring songs from the series, and they just put them in different like settings and stuff, which is really cool. Yeah. Nice. That was fun. All right. So you're going to walk over and... Uh, oh, hold on. Something here is reacting to our performance of Pharaoh's Courage. I have confirmed the appearance of a strange mark. Well, no, yeah, I see it too, V. I calculated 90% probability or possibility that this mark is a trial gate as mentioned by the goddess statue we heard from on the island of songs. Thrust your sword into the center of the mark on the ground before you. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Alright, so go ahead and do it. And then we're going to get a nice surprise. I don't know, man. When I was a little kid, my mom told me to stop thrusting things of mine into the dirt. So I kind of listened God. to my mama, man. Jeez. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> and... Look at this face. He's so mad. Why is he so mad? And thrust. But why is he so mad? Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> man. He's like pissed off. Like, ah! <laughs> so I do like this aesthetic. It is cool. I mean, sure if we were talking about it off camera. It is interesting that, okay, this is the test of courage. So it makes sense what they make you do for the test of courage. But I just don't get it because they make you repeat this three times. And it makes less sense for wisdom and power. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you guys will see what I mean. For courage, I think it makes sense. As expected, I cannot follow you into this realm, for this trial calls out to your mind alone. Oh, it's all in my head. This is the nature of places known as spirit realms. They are domains. Silent. Oh yeah, silent realms. They are domains of the spirit, accessible only to the goddess's chosen hero. This particular trial, Pharaoh's silent realm, tests the limits of your courage. Your spirit has temporarily separated from your physical body, so that you may undertake this challenge. To reach the location of the flames that will en enhance your sword, it is necessary for you to overcome this trial and undergo spiritual growth. In ten minutes or less. This is kind of cool, because this reminds me of Five Princess. Yeah, true. We did do something similar to this. The Tears of Light or whatever? Yeah. So this is a spirit vessel. Uh, this mysterious plant resembles your spirit. How? That's what my spirit looks like. <laughs> I don't know. That that is your spirit vessel. It ain't mine. When this vessel is full, it will signify you have successfully completed the trial, allowing your spirit to grow. This in turn will allow the goddess to bless you with her with a new power. To fill the spirit vessel, you need to search for something known as the Tear of Feror. There are many of them spread across this strange world. Master, so do you see? I think that might be one of them. Yeah. The rolling object in front of you. That is the Tear of Feror. You need to collect 15 of them. However, this is not as simple task as it would seem. Your work in this realm is referred to as this trial for good reason. Yeah. <laughs> if you take even a single step outside the protective circle you stand in, uh, you stand, the guardians of the realm will wake up and pursue you, Master. <laughs> Why? Well, I don't know. But it's <laughs> I'm telling you. It does test your courage. This will start chasing you, trying to kill you. That's yeah. Kind of if a guardian manages to land even a single hit on you, your spirit will shatter and you will fail the trial. You must collect the tears scattered throughout this area and fill the spirit vessel without getting hit by an attack. It was my yes, it was. I like how this is the one explanation that you can't skip. I know. It's it's a lot. Understood, Master. I will be eagerly awaiting your return in the outside world. May the goddess watch over you, Master. What I can't remember is. All right. So before you step out of here. Let me just say, uh, so she talked about the Guardians. Let me just read it, how many rules there are to this world. It's so crazy, right? So it says, however, once you step out of the circle, the Guardians will awaken and try to slash at you. If they hit you, you'll have to start all over. Each time you, after you collect a Tear of Feor, the Guardians will be at rest for 90 seconds. In addition to Tears of Feor, there's also Light Fruit out in this location. These Light Fruits will eliminate the location of the remaining Tears by shooting a beam of light into the air. 
You'll also see some watchers with lanterns. If they illuminate your location with their lantern, the guardians will immediately awaken. The Sun Realm also has ponds of waking water. <laughs> if you step into these ponds at any time, the guardians will immediately awaken and will come for you. Try to both both of these whenever possible. Finally, dust relics are now available. These items are much like amber relics and used for crafting, so be sure to grab as many as you can. Possible spawn locations for these are shown in purple on the map below, and Tigers of Fior are shown in green. If this takes multiple attempts, do not be discouraged. Your in-game map will reflect every tier you found on any of your previous attempts, and you will also keep track of whether you not have gone in this attempt or not. Nice. Did you just hear how many things there was? You have to watch out for this, and this, and this, and you have to track out correct, like this, and this, and this. Listen, seems uh, pretty easy peasy to me. Alright, so real quick, uh, so green are... Can you pull up your map real quick? You can mark it, can't you? Or it doesn't let you do it here? No. It doesn't okay, get so marked until I get one. Because the way it works, basically, is there's one right in front of you. So look at, you see that little ramp right in front of you? Yeah. Then there's one on the second part of the ramp, so closer to him. Okay. Then there's one, can you see to your left? To start turning left? Left, 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 more and more. Yeah, I, see I think it. it's over there, that one over there. But before, you see how that one's up high? There's uh -huh. one down low, too. Okay. So that's four of them, at least. Uh, so yeah, I don't know how you want to do this, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll just figure it out. Yeah, because there's, no, um, there's no tips here of like what road to take. It kind yeah. of just tells you where they're at, so. Yeah, how fast do they move? Um, it gives you nice seconds when you collect one. So yeah, go up there, go up there. Uh, like I said, you might want to turn left and go back towards the side of the ones we can see in the distance over there. Yeah. Oh, we know there's some right here too. Those are the fruits that tell you where the stuff's at. So it helps you. Oh, fruit. dang it. But I'm those sorry, aren't necessary. man. Oh, yeah, the purple ones aren't necessary. Oh, wait, not even this. Oh no, it does those look like, like things I told you. Okay. Wait, so you collected two tiers right now, didn't you? Or you only got one? No, I only got one. Wait, there's supposed to be one right there, too. No. Go back to the circle. That... Yeah, the map says there's one up here. Oh, it's upstairs. That's why. It's upstairs. Yeah, since it's a good thing I told you, you would have, like, messed, missed it. It's up here, watch. There you go. Okay, there we go. And you see the other ones over there? You can get yeah. those three over there. So I would try to avoid the lantern guys, though, if you can, obviously. Yeah. There you go. Oh. There you go. Don't touch the water. Yeah. So be careful. You have to go across the log. Oh, my gosh, P. I just used to worry about the water, because you know how I told you about it, but I think she doesn't tell you until you actually see it. Yeah. See, yeah, like see the liquid. It's waking water. This is so stupid. <laughs> yeah, they really want to amp it up just to make it higher. <laughs> yeah, so there's one up there somewhere. There's one right here. So I don't know if you're going to get the one down here first. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Jump. There you go. Then you have to cross back, which is like such a waste of time. Yep. You know, I thought I had 10 minutes to do this. Never mind. No, it's just 90 seconds resets every time you get one of them. Okay. That's how it works. So there's one up there still, remember? Don't forget there's one up there. Yeah. Like to the right. To the right. But yeah, you want you can get this one first, I guess. Actually, no, you should have saved it because you need to go down that little tunnel anyway. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Yeah, it's okay. All right, so up where? Up there. Up here? See, you can see, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It's going to be a lot, I mean. <laughs> Oh, oh, really? You have to go around. That's the lane. There you go. Just go and, like, nudge one of those guys. <laughs> mess with him. Yeah, look. Oh, 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 my gosh. So you have to, like, jump over or some shit, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, look, you can see your timer. The little flower represents your timer. Yeah. And once you get under one of those things, your timer will reset. So you're not doing too bad. Let's aid a leap. There you go. Okay. Good, good, good. You can drop down, I think. 
And then once you get this one, you're gonna want to jump back down uh, towards that guy, and you're gonna go through that little like tunnel thing. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, there's one way up there. You're trying, you're trying to get to the one way up there. I think you should be fine. You get it, and then you're gonna run. Oh. Don't get those down there yet. Oh. Uh, actually, hold on. Uh, there should be one in the middle of the tree. I think. No, look the way you were looking before. Oh, that, that's that's the green one. Yeah, follow the path. Someone over there in the tree, see it? Okay. That, that one is the one that's like lower to the left, the left. All the way over there, see it? Yeah. That one you want to get. I think you're doing fine. Yeah. Right now, anyway. Yeah. Alright, sorry for being silent, people, but I gotta focus. <laughs> yeah, he's just trying to concentrate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now you can get the one that you saw over here, like, like a, slightly to the right over there somewhere. Down there somewhere. Yeah, I think Down it's over, uh, there. over there. Yeah. Right. Oh my god, it's just so annoying. I know. I mean, we have eight, so we're over halfway there, but... Yeah. Are there exactly 15, or are there more than 15? I think there's exactly 15. Of course. Alrighty, so we're gonna get this one. And then the one next to the guy right now, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna get the one next to the guy first. Yeah, just be careful, there's a lantern person. Yeah. Good. And there's one down there. Like a little ledge. There it is. Oh, I see another one. I see a couple. Look. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get this one first. Ooh, Ooh. You? I oh I have to cross the water. Oh no, it recedes. Okay. <laughs> oh. Be careful! Be careful! Be careful! Yeah. At least it recedes. If not, I think oh hell no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you know where the next one is, right? You saw it already. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Yeah. So it's right there. Okay. Uh, and there's two across from each other. I don't know the two across from each other. I'm kind of lost where you're at right now, honestly. Oh, there I'm it is. It. Yeah, I see it. I see another one. And so the last one... It's way over there. Yeah. Where is that even at? You see how to get up there? Do you kind of have an idea? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, good, good. I see it. I think now run back to the street when you started. Like, God dang it. Wait, really? I mean, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Look, collected <Okay, now. laughs> every last tear of your terrific spirit has grown. Child will continue until you exit the solid. Uh, cool. I was right, dang it. Good boy. Yay. At least they don't all awaken. That would suck. At least they put the. Uh, oh. You can just... Wait, can I? Uh, I'm funny. I never pushed this. Now you did. Perfect. That nice. was a perfect one to get last, actually. It was. Yeah, no, I don't know if I could have done that any better. That went really well. Yeah, but the first one is the easiest one, though, so you yeah, know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I think they increase, right? Like, don't I have to get 20 next time? I think you do, yeah. Yeah. I think I remember something like that. There you go. The Water Dragon Scale. The sacred gift left by the goddess grants you the power to explore underwater and even execute a... Ooh, wait, can I breathe underwater now? Yeah. Nice. I believe you can. I don't remember if it like forever, maybe. We'll see. Oh, hello. 
Congratulations, Master. Terrific. You have passed this trial. You know you now have the power to proceed to the location of the first sacred flame that will enhance your sword. The water dragon scale is one of the goddess's sacred gifts. The great spirit of the water dragon will provide you with the ability to swim freely underwater. The flame you seek is somewhere within these woods, Master. I must conclude that this flame is likely in the part in a part of the area you have not explored. Of course it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, hi. Uh, why were you just staring at me? Did you touch me? Ah, hello <laughs> he took again. You were asleep. <laughs> ah, hello again. I see you have the water dragon scale there. That's amazing. Cute. He said he thought he thought he thinks it's cute. Yeah, he's a cute. <laughs> I heard that if you have one, Q, you can swim through the water like a dragon soars through the sky. Hmm. There must be places here in the woods that you haven't visited yet. You should use the water dragon scale to explore areas you couldn't get to before. <laughs> okay, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Like, okay, then. I'm well, I don't know, it's little tiny arms. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, they're so super silly. Tiny. And they don't oh, match his body. Yeah, I was gonna say, let's get creepy. Let's get someone wearing a big old costume and their arms are just sticking out. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, people, I think this is a good enough spot as any to end off the episode. I think we're probably... Well, I guess there's water here that we could try going to. So, yeah. I don't uh, know. No, actually, closer, closer. Is it deep? Look at the map again just real quick. No. Oh, here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. There's water right there, just right next to him. That's what we're going to be exploring next time. All right. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess we will see you in the next episode. Check out my boy Weave Rabbit. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye. Later, guys.